Welcome to How To RC. This is Battery Basics. I'm going to try to tell you about the different kinds of batteries that we use in RC and their little quirky things and some pretty interesting stuff too. Okay, this one here is an old NICAP. Now, this is a 1400. When I first started racing uh, uh, dirt buggies, my first RC-10, okay, so I started out with a Tamiya Frog. This is what was available, and it would give you enough amperage to run a motor and get those buggies really hopping, or at least we thought so. And uh, they were great, because your regular flashlight batteries won't produce enough amperage to run an RC motor, even on a tenth scale car. It just won't produce enough amperage. These will. They had a quirk. They had memory. If you were practicing in the backyard and you ran the motor for about two minutes and then brought it in and charged it and did that for several days, pretty soon all you would get out of the battery was two minutes. Of course, all you got out of the battery anyway was a little over four minutes. We used to, the races used to be four minutes long because with a stock motor, 27 turn brushed motor, you were assured to get four minutes out of this battery. If you went to a hotter motor, like a 12 turn or you know a 15 turn, something like that, you probably couldn't get four minutes out of it. So you were best getting something in, you know, the 19, 17 or 19, and then you'd have to gear it just right to be able to finish the four minute race because these batteries just didn't hold enough juice. So then came along diamonds, nickel metal hydrides. This battery was, um, I think it's a 1200, 1200 milliamp hour. This battery, it's a diamond and it's better, but it's heavier. Gee, well, it's 3,600 milliamp hours. It's three times what that one was. Uh, now, the milliamp hour rating on a battery is basically it's how much gas you got in the tank. Okay? If you're running a stock motor on this old NICAD, and I tell you, you know, you're going to get four minutes out of it, that means you're going to get 12 minutes out of that same car, that same motor, with this battery here. That's basically what the milliamp hours tell you. These don't have a memory, uh, which is great. You can, you can bash on them for five minutes and throw them back on the charger and run another battery and come back and this one's uh, charged and do that all day. No problem. Great batteries. And then we came up with LiPos. Now LiPos are more expensive than these, but they're lighter per milliamp hour. Uh, I was using these in a boat, they're 2800 milliamp hour. This is a two cell, same as this. You know, this is a, this is a six cell, produce 7.2 volts. This is a six cell, produce 7.2 volts. This is the equivalent, uh, it's a two cell at 3.7 volts per cell. So this pack here gives you 7.4 volts. Not much of an advantage, two tenths of a volt. They do have a bigger capacity, again, and, and this one is lighter than this one, and it's a 48 instead of a 36. So you've gained another, what, 1,500 milliamp hours, and you've lost some weight, which is terrific. These have a problem. They're delicate. They're in a very thin, uh, aluminum, uh, here's one, I took one apart the other day, got a two cell and it was only a one cell when it got to me. So this is a dead cell and it's in, they're in a very thin aluminum looking um, envelope and if you rupture this element, this envelope, you, you've ruined the battery. Now I had, I was flying a small one on a plane the other day and I <laughs> was having trouble with the plane and I had the motor, I mean the battery, way up at the front. 
and uh, I nosed in <coughs> and the battery hit like this on its corner and I guess it ruptured the cell. Now you, you may have heard rumors about lipos bursting into flame or ex and exploding. Well I've been doing this for a number of years and I've yet to experience either. Well, right up until the other day. I've always taken the precaution of putting my batteries in this old military, actually it's an ammo case that held uh, 30 caliber ammunition for a machine gun. And uh, so I had my little battery in there like this uh, and I was charging it when it caught fire. And I was right here in the shop and I smelled something and I, I looked, you know, kind of, I was over at the table saw and uh, I didn't get it for a minute until I turned all the way around and looked at this box and the black greasy smoke billowing out of the box and uh, the battery was totally destroyed. It was a little three cell and uh, so I, f I finally had my first um, fire and uh, that's why this poor old uh, baby here got a paint job is because it looked terrible after that. I, I cleaned it up and decided to give it a paint job. So you want to, when you're charging your, uh, your LiPo battery, put them in a metal container because they do catch on fire. Okay, uh, we've been talking, this is a one cell, same as that. This is a two cell, this is a three cell. It's the same as that basically, it's a 4800 but it's a three cell which means it's 11.1 uh, .1 volts and it's uh, 4800 milliamp hours which will run your average little car here for a long time. Now, uh, LiPo's come in all kinds of flavors and sizes. This is a three cell, 11.1 .1 volt. This is a three cell, 11.1 .1 volt. But instead of being 4,800 milliamp hours, this one's 460 milliamp hours. This is for a small, I'm going to say indoor plane. And they come even smaller than that. A 4,600, 460 milliamp hour battery is not especially tiny. It's pretty small, but they make them even much smaller. So, they don't have any memory. They're great. They're delicate. That's the only thing wrong with these. They produce a lot of juice. Okay, lipos have a quirk too. Their quirk is they don't like to be discharged. Whereas the, the NICADs wanted to be discharged down to some, nothing, the lipo doesn't want to be discharged below 3.2 volts per cell. If you do, you're going to ruin the battery. So, <coughs> this um, the brushless motor controllers are set to shut off before they've killed, destroyed the battery. If you try to use this in a system that was set up for a brushed motor and <coughs> NICADs or, or NIMINs, you can ruin these batteries. Let them cool down. Don't ever charge them hot. If you're done running it, you better wait until it cools down. Then you got to charge it. 